Hello, my name is Douglas Shy. I'm here at Kia of Everett in Washington. And right now we're gonna do a little comparison of a new 2022 Kia Sportage LX, which is the base entry level version of the vehicle, and a slightly used 2018 Mazda CX-5. A lot of people consider them in the same class of vehicle. They're both SUVs, they're both compact, and they're both about the same size with about the same features. They're five-seaters, they have the rear hatch. Now, obviously the, fifth, the 18 doesn't have the same amount of amenities that the 21 does, but we're gonna show you a few basic differences between the vehicles. All right, so here we are at the rear of the vehicles. Obviously, they're both manual lift hatch backs, and they both have about the same amount of cargo space and interior volume, although the Kia has a slight edge. One of the nice features about the new Kia Sportage is that not only does it have the fold-down seats with 60-40 split, giving you plenty of cargo surface, but if you want to, it actually has a bi-level cargo deck in the back here where it allows you to lower it down like an oven rack and gain you three inches of clearance in case you have a taller item than the standard configuration will allow you to get into the vehicle. Also, if you do happen to have the cargo privacy blind, you can actually store it beneath the cargo deck when it's in its upper position. Now, if you go and look at the Mazda, for instance, the Mazda does not have the bi-level cargo deck and does not allow for storage of the cargo privacy blind system. So, subtle differences between the vehicles. Now, on the Kia Sportage, you've got your alloy wheels, and on the Mazda CX-5, you have your alloy wheels. They're both gonna have power steering, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. They're both going to give you adjustable height seats, even though they are mechanical. They're both going to give you traction control off. They both give you a drive mode select system for selecting the tuning of the vehicle. Um, you have an AM FM satellite radio that protrudes up from the dash on this particular vehicle on the Mazda. But on the Sportage, the screen of the Apple CarPlay Android Auto pr smartphone projection stereo system is actually integrated into the dash, not sticking up like a tablet. One of the other nice features that I need to explain between a Kia and a Mazda, even if you're looking at new versus new, is that Kia will always have a better warranty. A five year, 60,000 mile limited basic with a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty and five years and 60,000 miles of roadside assistance whereas the Mazda only comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile basic bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty and a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warning. About half of what we offer. At any rate, my name is Doug Shy. If you have any questions, please look me up. I'm at Kia of Everett.